<laughs> What's up guys, and welcome to episode 11 of the Hypixel Iron Man Profile. So, to start off this episode, I did a little bit more Diana grinding, getting a couple runic creatures. Yo, my armadillo hatched. My legendary armadillo. So, I'm currently back in the barn, just farming up uh, some leather. I am trying to reach 5,000 leather collection. I am doing this by hand because I don't want to waste any minion slots. So I'm going to be here for a couple hours. I would go to the mines to do a little bit of mining whenever I'll get bored of killing the cows. And I go commission milestone level 2. And I also completely fell in love with the armadillo pet. Look at how satisfying this thing is, how it just chews through the mithril and levels up super fast. It's amazing. I absolutely love this thing. Alright, so... Seeing as I got a bunch of mithril, I decided to make myself a mithril crystal. It is something you can place on your island to increase the speed of nearby mining minions by 10%. So I hopped on over to the Crimson Isles and mined a bunch of quartz, because that's the last thing I was missing. As I was completing my commissions and just poking around the jungle, I happened to stumble across a Kit Guardian, which was awesome because I absolutely hate collecting a bunch of sludge juice for a Dawa, so I stayed here for a good couple hours and just farmed the crap out of this guy. I also made use of the long respawn time on the Kit Guardian to mine a bunch of hardstone using my armadillo to progress the collection. Oh yeah. As enchanting level 33. Huge. Okay, so I've been doing a tiny little bit of grinding in the Crystal Hollows, just doing the commissions and things like that. Got my armadillo to level 42. I purchased the mining XP boost for him just recently uh, for 500,000 from Zog in the hub, because uh, I think that'll be a decent investment. I've also been killing a massive amount of cows, so. I actually am pretty much right there, ready to unlock Enchanted Leather. So I farmed 5,000 leather by hand, which is... It took me probably... I'm not really sure, maybe an hour and a half to two hours, somewhere there. So there we go, Enchanted Leather unlocked. Now I can make myself some sacks, which will be extremely useful for everything in the game, really. Let's go ahead and make a couple of those now. Here we go, grabbed myself 9 stacks of leather. I've been saving all the leather that I've been collecting. So let's go ahead and craft one enchanted leather. And I think the first sack I want to make is gonna be the mining sack. So we just need some coal and one enchanted leather. Here we go, a small mining sack. Uh, I'm not really sure how expensive it is to upgrade this thing, but it looks like it's not too much. Yeah, there we go. Medium mining sack. Uh, how much is a large? I wouldn't mind investing into a large. I... Oh, that's quite cheap, actually. We got a large mining sack. Can I make it any bigger? No. I'm going to go ahead and hop on over back to to the crystal hollows to get myself a little bit more stuff mined because I need mithril, I need hardstone collection because I want to unlock the heat armor and thus the yog armor, uh, which is still quite a little bit away. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of relaxed mining. Yeah, should be nice and chill. So this is what I'm doing right now. I am getting on my armadillo. I'm running through a bunch of hardstone using my uh, jungle pickaxe, and I'm in the jungle, so I actually get the benefit of getting some extra jungle juice. Yeah, just going around like this. 
And uh, whenever I get a treasure chest, I go ahead and open it. And it's uh, it's that simple, really. Any mithril veins I find, I also mine up. Any of these ores are awesome as well. But I still need collections, and with this mining sack, it makes it a lot easier. So this is how I'm going to be doing a little bit of chill farming. And yeah. Anyways, I'll be back once I've made a little bit more progress on this. Yo, I just got a jungle harp from one of the chests. That's very, very cool. I'm going to need a couple more of those to get an accessory. Very cool. Oh yeah, look at that. I just hit mining level 22. Awesome, awesome. Very nice to see. So, I just kind of randomly stumbled across Baal. And uh, this was actually the last crystal that I needed to finish the run, so I might as well go ahead and see what I get from the crystal nucleus. Here we go, last crystal. What do we get? Anything good? Uh, two Devon fragments, that's actually pretty nice. Out of the mountain XP. Ah, oh, so very nice stuff actually. Some bombs. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll take that. Oh wow, would you look at that? That was enough to hit Heart of the Mountain tier 4. So... Nice, we get a little bit more stuff to put in here. I still have three tokens, and I have no idea where I want to put them. I guess sufficient miner, maybe? What else is there? Some mining wisdom? That sounds nice, I guess. I think I do want to prioritize mining speed over everything else, because... Uh, I want to be able to instant mine hardstone. So, I'm just kind of going for any speed upgrades at the moment. So, I guess I'm going to have to go for mining madness. I don't see... Mm, I don't see anything else that provides any decent speed. Yeah, I guess Seasoned Mine Man and Mining Madness. Oh yeah. Hardstone level 4. Very nice. So that puts us at about one third of the way there to Hardstone level 5. And thus the Flamebreaker armor. So uh, very cool. This will be a nice upgrade because this armor set can be very easily upgraded even further to the Yog armor, which has uh, very, very nice stats for mining. And uh, hopefully it will be better than my current Glacier. We are collecting more moats for the armor set. Alrighty, time to grab the second piece of the armor set. There we go. Wield chain top. Extra 15 seconds. Ah, look, here's another one. Helmet is 1000. Serial bather. Oh my god, what the hell is weird? He just bathes all day. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> have not seen the pants guy anywhere. I probably walked past him since all three of them are all on the same tree, so I'm assuming the last one is as well. I wonder if I've got time to grab the helmet in 30 seconds. I think I should be able to. Maybe here, yes. I've got 10 seconds to get it. Come on, come on. Yes, yes, you were never here. I got you, bro. Come on. Oh yeah, I managed to get the helmet just in time. And there we go, the rift is closed. Not a bad run if I do say so myself. I have another milestone to share with you guys. I just hit, boom, 
20 subscribers. What? Oh my god, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for subbing to this channel and uh, enjoying my videos. Uh, it means a lot to me. I put a lot of effort into them, so seeing uh, this much appreciation is awesome. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I am shocked. Very, very, very pleased. I love all of you. Yo, look at this. I'm doing my enchanting right now, and I just got a critical six book. That's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, they can also drop from Sven's, so it's not that uncommon, but still kind of cool. And there is mining level 23. Awesome. All right, so let's take a break from mining and do something else. I wanted to focus this episode on mining and fishing because Mayor Marina just became elected. So it's time to make use of that sweet extra XP. So I've got around two hours until the next fishing festival. So I thought I'd spend that time to try get a very interesting item, and quite rare, and that would be the Lucky Clover Core. So I want to get this onto my Griffin Pet, because Magic Find is amazing, so hopefully I can get it, but I don't expect to because it's quite a rare drop. Anyway, I'm going to do that right now, and hopefully I get lucky. In other news, my Ammonite Pet is finally completed. I got this thing on my very first Nucleus run in like, I don't remember, a couple episodes ago. And yeah, so I'm going to start leveling this pet now. There is the first Carrot King. Maybe we get lucky. Well, we got our rabbit hat, but nothing else. So, by the looks of things, it's about, what, a 1 in 150 drop or something? Something like that. So, might be quite a while until we get it. Oh, what? Oh my god, what? No way. Nah. Nah, no way, dude. Um, seven kills. Seven kills for a Lucky Clover Core. Nah. Nah. <laughs> what? That's insane. Oh my god, no freaking way. Okay, so... Well, I got it in, like, what? <laughs> 30 minutes, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, so that was not expected. I don't have the emeralds to even make the thing, but... Damn, alright. Cool, I guess. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> wow. I... I guess I'll keep fishing, because that's kind of the whole point of me being here. Um... I will eventually want another Lucky Clover Call later down the line for a black cat pet, so might as well just keep going, but wow, that's that's insane. <laughs> Seven carrot kings, and I got it. With only 14 magic finds. That is unheard of. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, so I've been fishing all the way up until the festival, and I did not get another Lucky Clover Core, so 
that's all right. Kind of expected. But now I'm going to go through the fishing festival and hopefully get some more shark teeth. Yo, fishing 19. There is the end of the fishing festival, and I got roughly 115,000 total fishing XP. Unfortunately, only one tiger shark tooth and not a single blue shark tooth, so quite disappointing on that regard. Ooh, projectile protection 6. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so... I'm doing another rift run with the goal of just finishing off the world armor set. I'm also going to have a look at any other quests that I can do and uh, see if I can figure something out, really. Because uh, I'm a little bit confused about this place still. I still want to figure out this flower thing. Ah, never mind. Yeah, I just went the wrong way. Oh, wow. So that gives a soul. Awesome. Now my Enigma Cloak is stronger. Nice. Got a new Crux Milestone. Ooh. Agrafe Bug Hunter. I think this guy's got some sort of quest. Six Tricrux. Ah. Okay, so I've got a hook now. Now use the hook, find the larva in the branches. Oh, I see. So... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Good. So you want six larva silk. There we go. Got six larva silk. Here you go. Can I catch these things now or something? Oh! Here you go. He wants eight of them. Wow. Okay, so I need to buy eight of these things. Wow, that's quite expensive. I think I want to still try get the armor before this rift collapses, so I'm going to go focus on that instead for now. Oh, this person wants me to find a cat. Cat detect... Cat detector? Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> That's funny. I've not been able to find the pants guy. Where is he? Does he even exist? That's unfortunate. I was really hoping to finish off the armor set this turn. Guess it's gonna have to be the next turn. Because I've got 10 seconds. Yo. <laughs> well, I discovered a couple new mechanics, but didn't progress a whole lot. So, yeah. <laughs> Better luck next time, I guess. Well, in order to take full advantage of Marina, I will just keep fishing. I mean, it's the best thing for me to do right now, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's hope that I get some of those enchanted books that I want to put on the uh, on the Lily Valley collection rods. Those would be very useful right now. I completely forgot to mention that during those couple grinds, uh, my Ammonite pet got to level 39, so uh, making some decent progress. And hopefully that thing levels up even more. Oh. 
Ooh, my first deep sea protector. There we go, nice. That took quite a while to catch one of these guys. Yeah, I'm 70,000 XP into fishing level 20. Ooh, another deep sea protector. I'm actually switching to my griffin pet when I kill these guys, or any interesting creature from now on, just because it increases my magic find just a tiny bit. Caught my first Hydra. This is exciting. Let's hope I can get the uh, uh, helmet from it. Once again, switching to the griffin. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. Did not get the helmet or the fish affinity talisman. That's heartbreaking. Well, hopefully I can get another one before the next level of fishing. So uh, the fear monger just showed up. And if I'm not mistaken, as long as he's in the hub island and I'm fishing here, that means that I can catch some spooky sea creatures. So that's exciting. Hopefully I get a couple of those, and they're awesome drops. Ooh, my first spooky creature, the Scarecrow. I've never done any fishing during the Spooky Festival before, so this is some cool new content for me. Alright, get some green candy, some hay bale. Uh, what can I even drop? Green candy, hay bales, lily pads, and purple candies. Okay. Very cool. Let's keep going. Ooh, my first nightmare. <laughs> he almost killed me. Kind of cool. I think he's got some interesting drops that we actually want. And that would be that lucky hoof thing there. I don't remember what it's used for, but I think it's got some decent crafting recipe. Maybe an accessory? Not sure. Ooh, I caught my first werewolf. That's kind of cool. Get some uh, werewolf skin. Hmm, what can you make with this? Ooh, looks like there's a full armor set with this thing. And the stats are actually pretty good. Even for intelligence, 50 intelligence per piece. That's a lot. This would be an awesome grind. Hmm, hopefully we get a couple more of these guys. Ooh, medium fishing bag upgrade. Nice. That's handy. Oh, nice. The lily pad collection level 6. So we're halfway there to the Rod of Champions. Oh, and, uh, well, <laughs> there's a werewolf as well. Let's smack this guy. Yep, another werewolf skin. And the spooky festival has begun. But I think I'm just going to spend this time fishing for more sea creatures. I am not really in the biggest hurry to get the black cat pet, so I'll just keep doing this. Ooh, and we just unlocked fish bait, which will be awesome for future fishing grinds. So the spooky festival is ending in 5 minutes, although the fear monger is still going to stay around for another hour and I will still be able to catch the uh, sea creatures from the spooky festival event. However, at the same time we're going to have a bonus fishing festival in that hour, so we're going to have both spooky festival and the fishing festival active at the same time. So that should be very exciting and hopefully I'm able to 
go through that entire hour. Here we go. The bonus fishing festival is now underway. I'm just getting rid of some stuff from my ender chest. So I have a bit more storage. And yeah, I'll get right on it. Oh, so the, the results for the spooky festival are in. And somehow I got 165 score. Um, that's kind of cool. Even though I didn't participate in any actual mob farming. But I guess the spooky mobs gave me a little bit of candy drops. So not bad. Oh, hey, I got my first piece of fairy armor. That's kind of cool. I have killed a very large amount of sea witches. So I'm surprised it took this long to get one piece. I'm kind of curious how long it took, actually. 108 sea witches for a single piece of armor, which is meant to be a 5% drop. So yeah, I don't know about the statistics on that one. Oh, I just missed it, but I got fishing level 20. Nice. So now I can even catch sea emperors, which is awesome. So hopefully I can get some of those sea emperor skulls soon. Lots of progress this episode. Lots of fishing. Nice. Medium sack of sacks. Yo, fearmonger. Are you are you okay? He's like hiding away from everyone. <laughs> this poor dude does not like Jerry's festival. And there we go. Both the spooky festival and the fishing festival are now over, so I got quite a lot of loot. Not too many shark teeth, but a decent amount. Uh, yeah, so as you also saw, I hit level 20 fishing, and I am now 42,000 on my way to level 21. So that puts me at 335,000 fishing XP gained in this episode. So I think that's enough fishing. I'm going to take a nice break. <laughs> I've been fishing for around five or maybe even six hours today. So after that one fishing session, I got 13 werewolf skins and I've got a little bit of extra nurse shark teeth, blue shark teeth, but no extra tiger shark teeth. All right. I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.